oh, I'm a sweaty hot mess. And you're probably wondering, oh, did you throw a blanket on that chair because there's things on that chair you didn't want to tidy up and put away for this video? It's possible. So, about a month ago, I showed you one of my big bulk book hauls for the book boxes. If you don't know, I um, do book boxes on Etsy where it's three mystery books with like drinks and um, a card and things like that. The Etsy link is down below. You can go check them out. There's two boxes, the budget and the premium. Um, so I have to get my hands on massive amounts of really high quality books and that's difficult. But we have another load. There's about 112, I think. 113, I don't know, I haven't counted them. A ton of Colleen Hoover will go through those. So this is not for pleasure, this is for business. Um, except maybe at the, some of the Colleen Hoover, I've never read it before, I might give her a go. And some of them aren't in great condition. And you know, I always try and get the best condition possible um, for the book boxes, so we shall see. But some of them will go in. So last time, I didn't go through them all. But I did ask if you'd like me to, and it was overwhelmingly, yes, please, show us every single book. So I'm going to do that. And then they're going to go straight into these boxes and then go into my office. Now, these have not been organised or sorted in any way. Um, I don't know if some are part of a series. I always make sure that every book you get in that box can be read as a standalone. Um, so don't worry about that. I do my due diligence. Um, and you can also send me your Goodreads link on your order. So you don't get any books that you've already marked as read. Anyway. So, let us start with all the Colleen Hoover. Now, we've got a duplicate. We've got two November 9, and I've never read any, so let's start. So, we got It Ends With Us. Apparently, I should give this a read. However, I said they can be triggering, so go and check. So, I did go and check and got spoiled for the entire book. I know absolutely everything that happens in this book now, and I don't know if I want to read it. So, I don't know. Uh, sorry about the glare as well. So, we got that one. We have All Your Perfects. Again, we've got two November 9. This one is in, like, brand new condition. Never been read. This one's definitely been read. Rather creased. So, we got those two. We have Without Merit, Verity, lovely cover that isn't it? And also uh, Regretting You, which is a larger book. So this will not be going into the book box, I don't think. Okay, those are the Colleen Hoovers. Let's go on to this stack, shall we? So we have The Stranger Next Door by Adam Southwood. Please let me know like, if I pull out any of your favourites in here or any you really want to read. Uh, we've got The Widow's Club by Amanda Brooke. The Rival by Charlotte Duckworth. Well, let's see if we can get some really nice looking covers as well. Well, this one, oh, oh, it's a good floppy book. Oh, and by the way, again, just like the last lot, like all the books that are in secondhand book, uh, all the books that are in the book box on Etsy are all secondhand, but I try and get them like as good as possible. Um, but these, again, yet again, there's only a handful that clearly have been read, mostly the Colleen Hoover and a couple of others. The rest, brand new condition. Like literally not even a mark on the spine, not a mark anywhere on the book, like brand new, you know? And this is what we want for the book boxes, like as good a condition as possible. So we've got Heat Stroke by Hazel Barkworth. That one looks nice and bright. We have Fade to Grey by John Lincoln. And we're moving away from Thriller. We have What If by Shari Lowe. Lovely, lovely. I am still doing the bumper box of crime mystery thriller books, but I don't have a scale that I can use um, to weigh the boxes so I know how much postage is going to be. Well, um, so until that I can, you know, get one of them, then I'm a bit hesitant in case I screw myself over with packaging uh, postage again. Um, but I need to do that box and it'll be like six books in a box. Um, so it is coming, but just bear with. Uh, we have Panic by Lauren Oliver. What My Sister Knew by Nina Lauren. Ooh, a nice shiny bright spine. Ooh, that's a really cool... Um, I like that. We've got The Curator by M.W. Craven. It's a really cool cover. It's all raised as well. The Birthday by Carol Wire. We Wire? Terrible pronunciation. The Shelf by Heli Acton. Okay, we have Other Women by Jean Levy. The Secret Keeper's Daughter. Take Me Home by Alex Hart. Gotta run through these fast. I can't talk about them. Um, oh, I like this cover. After the Silence by Louise O'Neill. That is a very, very nice cover. One Good Lie by Jane Isaac. Lucifer Falls by Colin Falconer. Falconer? Half Past Tomorrow by Chris McGeorge. Uh, the Perfect Guest by Emma Roos. We have Guilty by Siobhan McDonald. Now I've put quite a few of these books, um, well I say quite a few, I've had like three that I've put randomly in like romance books. We have Meet Me at the Wedding. I actually picked up a couple of these for myself in like bad condition that I found because like, every time I put them in a box, I'd like read the back and the, and the covers are so pretty. So this is Meet Me at the Wedding by Georgia Toffolo. Um, and these just look like lovely little, um, you've got London, Tahiti, Hawaii, and they're all little romances. So why is my camera overheating? 
I've only been filming for seven minutes. How are you overheating? How? It's a really hot time. Uh, we have The Wicked Sister by Karen Dion. Come on, can we get through a few more before my camera just decides to give up and die? Okay, we've got Even Dogs in the Wild by Ian O'Rankin. The Vacancy by Elizabeth Carpenter. Lovely, lovely. We have The Girls I've Been by Tess Sharp. That's a really cool cover. We have some fun doing some Instagram photos with some of these covers. Uh, we have The Stepmother by Ross Khan. The Mistake by Katie McCon. Katie McCon. We have No Bad Deed by Heather Chavaz. Ooh, I'm really testing myself today. Uh, we have A Darkness More Than Night by Michael Connolly. We have She's Mine by A.A. Shohua, who sh sh showed her... She's mine. Ooh, look at that cover. I love a bright cover. Uh, we have Winging It by Anna Jefferson. <laughs> uh, you Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogley. Hogley? Hogley? Okay, I'm gonna give my camera and me a bit of a- it's so bloody hot. It's only 8 a.m. Bloody hell. We'll be back for the rest. Two sex. Okay, I think we've got to go a little bit quicker. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm not talking about these books because it's not a personal haul. You know, I don't really have much to say about them other than they're all in a fantastic condition. Oh, I like this cover. This one is Body Language by A.K. Turner. Um, a Long Dark Road by P.R. Black. We have Don't Look For Me by Wendy Walker. Shadow of a Doubt by Michelle Davies. The Night We Met. I'm so sorry if this lighting is absolutely terrible. By Zoe Ful Fulbige. Fulbig? Ful I'm not sure. A Broken Souls by Patricia Gibney. Perfect Strangers by Araminta Hall. Aram Araminta Hall? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm just, I'm just terrible, I'm terrible. Uh, the Sister-in-Law by Sue Watson. God, like none of these have been read. Oh, I love it, I love it. Uh, the Face of the Window by Ruby Speechley. Uh, Inside Park, her story of a prison officer. Oh, nice, we have a non-fiction. Oh, this is the kind of book I'd pick up. I, you know, I love books like this. This is non-fiction. Oh, fun if it is. Always do with some non-fiction in the boxes. I think I'm gonna keep this one for myself. Uh, the Mammoth Book of Bizarre Crimes. Someone got a little deal at the works there. Um, so I think I might keep that for myself. This is a big one, so it's not gonna go in the box, um, but it is Close to the Edge by Toby Faber. Just cause it's too big. It's too big, I'm gonna pop, mm, should pop that there. Uh, this one has been really well read, so this isn't gonna go in the boxes, but it's A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. It's a shame, but that, I mean, obviously you're gonna get books with some creasing, some light creasing, but this one is really creased, like really creased, so. Trying to my best to get the absolute best quality. Obviously, you're gonna get some creasing on some of the books. Most of them are just fantastic, but some like creasing. They're well, second hand after all. Uh, this one, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, a little bit of creasing, but not horrific actually. Not too bad on this one. We have Revenge by James Patterson. Very popular author in the crime thriller genre. Uh, Last Place You Look by Louisa Scar. Then we have Twice in a Lifetime uh, by Helga Jensen. Uh, Definitely Fine by Amy Lavelle, 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 not sure, but I lo look at that, beautiful, she's holding a glass of wine, I can relate to that already. Christmas in Peppercorn Street by Anna Jacobs, again, obviously I don't put Christmas books in the boxes, they are being saved though, for later in the year, when I have special box coming. Oh, it's going to be very special. Fun cover, we are suddenly single by Carol w Wire, we are what, I don't know. I'm not sure. Love that. We have The Last Wife by Carol Hamilton. The Burial Circle by Kate Ellis. Truth Games by Caroline England. The Secret Bridesmaids by, Secret Bridesmaids, sorry, by Katie Birchall. Oh, so bright. I'm gonna have real fun taking photos of these uh, for Instagram. Uh, so we have The 24 Hour Cafe by Libby Page. Uh, Fugitive 13, oh, someone went to the works and got another little deal by Rob Sinclair. William McClaveny, uh, The Papers of Tony Veit. Oh dear God! When Shadows Fall by Alex Gray. Other Like You, Ruby Speechley. Oh, this one is Battered Naked by Joe Hill. That is really, really, really. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh no, oh no. It's one of those. It's really sad. Oh no. Oh no, I just read something on the back. Yeah, I just read the. That's really bad condition. That's not gonna. Make it into the boxes anyway. Uh, this one is really bad condition as well. As in, I say really bad. These are fine condition. It's just really creased and I won't put it in. Uh, the Perfect Lie by Joe Spain. And we're back to all the fantastic conditions. Were those the only ones that are really bad? I think they are. Shadow Sands by Robert Brin Brinz Brinzer. I Shadow Sands. The Guiltiest Secrets by Shillen Roger. 
A Bucket List to Die For by Lorraine Fouchette. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one correct either. Then we have The Dinner Lady Detectives by Hannah Hendy. The Ice Killer by Ross Greenwood. The Man I Can't Forget by Eva Woods. Fun cover again, nice and bright. Invisible Girl, Lisa Jewel, Jewel, Jewel. Never Ask Me, Jeff Abbott. The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan M Miranda. Miranda. The Woman Who Ran Away by Sheila O'Flanagan. A little summer read there. We have Six by G.S. Locke. Oh, we've got some great covers. Oh, look at them. I mean, they haven't been read for the love of God. It's ridiculous. Secrets in the Dark by Cer Cyril Campbell. Oh, look at that cover. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I love that. Big summer. Love that cover. Probably my favourite one yet. Uh, a Knock at the Door, T.W. Ellis. Oh, no, I like this cover. Letters from the Dead by Sam Hercom. That cover. Oh, I like that one. Oh, two more stacks to go. Two more stacks to go. And I've run out of box room. Three Single Wives, Gina Lamana? Lama, Lama, These two are by the same author. We have A Price to Pay and The Last Straw, both by Paul Gitschum. Gitsch, the Woman in the Woods, M.K. Hill. The Nurse, J.A. Corrigan. Uh, the, Late Show, the Late Show, Michael Connolly. Again, another Michael Connolly. Lies, Lies, Lies by Adele Parks. Before We Were Gone by Sheila Bugler. Oh, I have this book. Uh, we have Room by Emma Donoghue. Uh, this one has been read. What I Never Told You by Dawn Goodwin. But still great condition, that one. Not too bad. Slight creasing, but very, very good condition. The Other Woman by Amanda Brookfield. Oh, another Michael Connolly, The Wrong Side of Goodbye. Getting through them. Oh, this one is, feels heavy. Like, it's not really thicker than any of the others, really. It's only 400 pages. Inside Out, Chris McGeorge. The House on the Water's Edge, C.E. Rose. I think we've had a couple C.E. Rose, haven't we? Project Icarus, R.D. Shah. And Shiver by Ali Reynolds. Her White Lie, Jackie Walsh. Jenny Col Colgan, Operation Sunshine. Well, it is bloody Operation Sunshine out there at the moment. I'm telling you that. Sister Dear by Hannah Mary McKinnon. I saw this one. We have The Mister by E.L. James. I'm very tempted to read this one, keep it and read it for a vlog, um, to see if E.L. James improved in her writing and storytelling. Because I literally have no idea. I just know this is her book after doing Fifty Shades. So if you'd like that video, let me know and I'll sit down and read The Mister. Uh, this one's been pretty well read. Uh, Girl A. Oh, is this? Oh no, it's a, oh, it's a memoir. It's a sad memoir, sad memoir. Oh. Have The Thorn Girl, Laura Elliott. Almost there, The Reunion. I cannot pronounce that. Another Michael Connolly, fair warning. The Guest House, David Mark. This is a short book. Is it short enough to be? Ooh, just over 250 pages. Uh, true Story, Kate Reed Petty. It's, it's, get off. Ooh, I like this cover. Uh, the Other Husband by Catherine Croft. The Christmas one. We have The Chocolate Lover's Christmas by Carol Matthews. No Smoke Without Fire, Ball Gitchum. Gitchum. Ooh, that is a chonker of a book, that is. Real big one. Oh, come on, almost there. Under a Dark Cloud by Louisa Scar. I think that's you, Louisa Scar, somewhere. Oh, this one's really been well read, like really well read. How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. That's really well read on the spine. That is a nice cover though. Oh, we have Malibu Rising. Oh, it's got one of those. Uh, Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Really well read as well, that one. And the last one, Blood Will Be Born by Gary Donnelly. We did it! Bloody did it! So, Etsy link is down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed me actually going through and showing you every single one, even though I didn't have much to say about them, um, other than if I liked to cover or not, or if they were really chunky. That's all I had to say, really. Uh, but yes, Etsy link down below where you can pick up your very own box. They're wrapped so beautifully. It's a real treat for yourself or others. You can mark it as a gift. You know, you can leave a message that you want me to write inside the thank you card, because normally I just thank you for buying the box. Um, but if you'd like, you can leave a gift message and I'll, I'll write that for you instead, like to whoever, whatever you want, and I'll, um, yeah put that in the box instead for gifts because people do buy them as gifts and I really didn't expect that and it's such a cool idea or if you want to just treat yourself to a box of three amazing gorgeous books um, genre of your picking or I can surprise you if you're on the premium box of budget go and check them out links down below I hope you enjoyed this video uh, I'll love you and leave you uh, subscribe like comment share Instagram all the fun stuff do all of you doing on videos doesn't matter so long as you're happy and I'll see you in the next one bye bye